I am trying to get in that door. So I'm continuing progress on the low barn. That's what at least we're calling it today. I know the name of this low barn changes a little bit here and there. Sometimes it's known as the tractor repair barn, the low barn, the shop, the tool shed. It gets different names. But this side door is about to become really important. And we've got a change that's about to happen to this building uh, coming up in just a couple quick weeks. I'm really excited for it. But with every project here at Old Iron Acres, we run into a small problem. And we found wire in the weeds. Why? I don't know, but there it is. And to all of you out there that are much smarter than me, which is all of you, what is this? It is a tubing with a foam outside. I don't know if it's an old tractor part, or if it's a part of a water line, or if it is something buried, or... I, I just have no idea, but I find little random things like that, and I just don't recognize it. Well, we're starting to find the door. It's getting closer, and I'm using my favorite Fiskars pole pruner. It looks like we found the tooth to an old sickle bar mower. I just find these randomly in the ground. It's the strangest thing. It's like they grow here. Just a little more weed whacking on the side of the building here by the door, and then I'm gonna stop for now. We'll come back and get some of these other bigger trees on another day. We got some crazy spiders down here. And you can just see all the garbage we deal with. It's always picking up stuff. Plastics, metals, trash. Uh, this was the uh, sink from last year's video. I was having a free giveaway on the sink, but I didn't have anyone take me up on it. I think there's a window frame over here. I don't even know what that is, some rug. Two by four beam, plastic bags, shotgun shell, quarter inch steel plate. Don't know why, don't know where it goes to. Galvanized metal, cinder blocks. I've got it all here. Welcome to Old Iron Acres. Well, I think that's looking pretty darn good. That door there will definitely do for right now. Now I just wanna clean up a little bit more in the front yard here. Let's have at it and see how much we can get done. Let's make some progress. This area in front of the barn is a real challenge. I don't know what they did back in the day. They would just like open the doors of the barns and just throw garbage into the yard, I guess. Uh, it is filled with concrete, blocks, rock, stone, like, like large stone. Uh, everything is overgrown. It's actually difficult to weed eat because the, there's a lot of sticks that are too big for the weed eater, but not big enough for other tools. Well, that was pretty good. By the way, I saved these bottoms of the IBC totes and I just went around with my chainsaw and put little nicks in the bottom corners to drain. And what I do is uh, flip this bad boy over and now I put it next to my saw buck here where I saw up my logs and then I take my scraps and I throw them in there just trying to keep the place tidy you know little bits at a time so now it's time to get one of my favorite tools my Fiskars pole pruner I've noticed that they've come out uh, on Amazon and such I'll put a link in the description below I'm not ready to buy them yet tempted to though really tempted to buy one of these pruners but electric so it's on a trigger I mean not that I'm lazy but that sounds pretty nice I'm gonna try to get rid of a few of these the manual way if you have any experience with those electric pruners drop a message down in the comments below I'd like to hear your thoughts on them the weed eater just won't quite make it through some of these thick stems 
So the only thing to do is to go at it. And that's what I'm doing. The interesting thing also in this field is right below where I'm standing, I believe are buried fuel tanks from back in the day when they would run tractors all day. I assume that they are still there. And there are some posts, wire posts, up leaning against the building, angled, that I believe powered an electric motor to fill the farm equipment. I don't know exactly what to do with all that, or what to do with any of it. <laughs> this is just the mysteries of the farm as we progress and clean it all up. But I love it when this is all clean and it's easier to see what I'm doing with a tractor when I get a tractor in here. But there's just no easy way to dig through here. So for now, this is what I'm going to do. Just go at it and keep going until it's all cleaned up. Progress on the barn must continue. Well, this video took quite a while to edit, and that's my fault. I always get busy at this time of year. I'm happy to be editing in and getting out another video again. I hope everybody has had a great fall and had a Merry Christmas, and I wish you all a happy end to 2023. And looking forward to 2024. Happy New Year. Did you do this? I did all this. Is that for me? Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. Wait, wait. Oh. What's that? What's what? You want to do all these things. To make it nicer for you. Does it look nice? I like your boots. Yuck. Yuck? Yuck. 